दोस्तों वेलकम बैक इन अंजीव सिंह अकेडमी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर बी अनदर टॉपिक्स एंड दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर यू इन पाइथन द मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल गेट कंफ्यूज हाउ टू क्लियर द स्क्रीन नॉर्मली दे आर गेटिंग द फैसिलिटी सी एल आर एस सी आर एन सी एन सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बट हेयर दे आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी फैसिलिटी टू क्लियर द स्क्रीन आई सॉल्व योर प्रॉब्लम सो कंटिन्यू विथ मी एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड एंड इफ स्टिल यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल Please subscribe my channel. Okay, so move to the topic. For the clear of a screen, you I'm going to use the CLS command. CLS command, yeah, I'm going to use the CLS command of Windows Console. How we are I'm going to use this command? For that we need a package. Which package we have to import in Python? This is called OS. And in our OS, we have a command OS dot system. And this system OS dot system allows you to, to execute any bit. command which is available in windows means you are allowed to directly use the command which is available in operating system so os stands for operating system let's see so i move on my python program so i have already prepared one program here and look at this program in this program i am trying i am creating a menu based program here this is a small arithmetic calculator and this is a true loop and look at there i already imported the os or uh, os and now this is a true loop and the command i am using here os dot system cls now this is my simple calculator program in that you put the plus sign to add minus to subtract multiply to multiply divide symbol to divide mod for the modulus and x a big x a capital x to close the program here i am using the concept of op input select operator now you have to select the operator here and if op is cause it's a break the program as if op is a space means nothing is entered by you here then it will show invalid operator because if you press the enter key here it will give the empty string to op and otherwise it's ask you two numbers number 1 and number 2 and now i am using the concept of the eval method as you know eval is the evaluation which convert the expression evaluate the expression so i am forming the expression with the help of the value these all values are in a string and eval function is very smart it will execute the expressions which is given in a string format so first is concatenate and form a string and then it will generate the results and it will show the message accordingly it will show the message accordingly here and press enter to continue now i am going to run this code on this simple python screen and what happen whenever i run this code it's ask me plus sign i am giving the plus sign here then it asks two number 5 6 and it will show the result and whenever i press the enter key i screen flash my screen flash that means that your console command prompt com command console is executed once it's uh, this command is executed successfully but it's not showing the effect on this terminal and you want to clear here that is not possible because it is the python cell it is a python terminal and that this command is related to the operating system so that's why it's not executed on this terminal so what the solution of this command the solution of this command is to you need to convert your program in a executable file and then only you are able to use this and then able uh, only able to clear this screen so wait i am going to show you my command prompt is already executed so i am going to start the autopy to exe to convert this file in a executable file to in a exe file if you are have any problem about this ki how to convert your python program in exe don't forget to watch my video that is related to how to convert python program to exe now here i am going to convert i am going to select the my program and uh, where i save my program i have to search this program in a d python program calc arithmetic so i am just typing here calc arithmetic it scan and now click on the open and this is my single file so it's a, not a whole directory this all things i discuss you or you may be google it on the google you will get the all information related to this a detailed information in a next video i'll try to give the 
use of the each and every option separately about the autopy 2 exe so now you have to wait for the time and it will take some time to convert your python program in an executable file and after conversion till time i'm going to start my another cmd prompt another cmd console window why because i have to execute my program here and and this will look at this it's a showing the now uh, it's about to finish yeah wait for the few seconds and uh, yeah it's over and the output in a output folder look at this folder so this is inside the ngip and i'm already inside c user ngip here you can notice this so i'll just give a command cd output and now i'll check the command and here is the calc arithmetic exe program is there i'm putting the cls calc arithmetic a r i t h m a t i c arithmetic and uh, there is error in this program uh, i most probably i written the wrong name so what is this c a l c a r i t h m e t i c calc arithmetic so i am giving this command and let let's yeah cls is working it's a clear the screen so now i am giving the plus sign and it's asked the number 25 36 it will showing the result again i'm pressing under key this time i'm giving the minus symbol 56 and 36 it's showing the result i'm pressing the under key and this time i'm giving the multiply symbol 25 25 it's showing the result again i'm pressing the enter key this time i'm showing the divide operator and you know it's a flow division as uh, not a flow division it's a floating point division so it will give the result so 25 divide um, 6 it's showing the result now i'm going to use the modulus operator and uh, i'm putting the two numbers 25 and i'm putting the 9 it's showing the remainder 7 and last time i'm giving the x and it's a clear the screen so you got your result and now you understand how you can clear your screen in a window okay i hope you enjoy this video still if you are not subscribed my channel don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks we will meet again bye bye take care